Now, me and Tim, yeah. me and Tim went on the Joker's cruise together last year. You can't make it this year because of previous things. You have you have other work things you can't miss. Yeah, but I really just canceled it because I don't want to go. Yeste exact ceea ce este. Let's just be honest with each other here. Because you're a fucking wild kid and yeah. you're, you're a treat for humanity. Yeah. I was trying to just spit it for you. I got it. I'm just going to be fucking open and honest. I don't want to go. The fucking fans are weird. I'm going to get <laughs> Legionnaire's disease. I don't want to lose my Wi Fi. I got a fucking kid at home. And Big J. Unkerson creeps me out. He's going to love it. <laughs> Big J. Wild. is going to He's going to love it. He yeah. goes every year. He was yeah. at. Was he on with us last year? Yeah. No, but he likes uh, that. Did he walk he around with one pant leg up? No, he, he loves it. Yeah. He loves it. But tell the people. I wanted your perspective. Obviously, did I get Wei Shun Chien for that? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, Wei Shun Chien. Well, here's the problem. I knew there was a problem because you meet at the cruise terminal. We all go, we all go into New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. And we meet at the cruise terminal. And many of the people that were taking the cruise had decided to bring food and beverages <laughs> with them. <laughs> so automatically, I knew this was Which a- Which you a, can't do, right? Well, here's the thing. You can do it in certain cases, but I knew this was a group. So bringing food and drinks on vacation with you, that's a certain type of person, yeah. you know? That's a certain type that's of a, person. That, let's be honest. That's a disgusting person. Yeah, it, it is not for me. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Not for me. So I saw people dragging coolers, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Now, we're, we're cruising into the middle of the fucking ocean, but this boat is the size of a fucking mall. It really is. So you'd imagine there'd be food on it, but these people were like, just in case that runs low, yeah. I have snacks. Yeah. So for the room, <laughs> one, of the, one of the ladies said to me, I swear to God, she goes, I have brought snacks for the room. Yeah. I said, for the room? <laughs> There's a 24-hour buffet. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, these, <laughs> these people didn't want to be caught in the room hungry. They didn't want... <laughs> Me and Yannis were talking about it. There's not... If, if there's even a little space in their stomach, oh, yeah. if even a little bubble of they air... Fill <laughs> they fill it in. They fill it in. I mean, you you see it. Dude, you, it dude, looks like you're at you looks like you're at a fair at watching a go kart. It looks like a go kart festival. There's just fuck, it's medieval times on the fucking boat. There's scooters everywhere. These people are huge, dude. It is. Let me tell you right now, it is crazy. At because I'm a big dude and I understand that there's it's you know there's a whole fat activist movement where people are like. You know, you should be fat, and I never was into that. I was always like, I eat too, I eat too much. I should, I should. Yeah, you're like, I eat more. so much, I can't go to sleep till four in the morning till my yeah, food it's digests. Like this is not, this is yeah. a bad thing. I'm slowly killing myself. But when I, I used to do cocaine for years, and I never did cocaine, and thought about starting a blog, going, everybody get fucking start doing shit up your nose. It's great. <laughs> everybody should lay in bed till four a.m. and with their throat all fucking scratched. You didn't up. feel discriminated against when someone said, "Hey, you might want to quit cocaine." No, <laughs> no. <laughs> and my like dear, you're oppressing yeah. me. Yeah, I never. So I, I, I think food is like a drug you see people on this boat that is their lifestyle yeah is glut like right. they're la like they and they're not even and i hate to see, like they're not even fat off good food you got fat off pringles yeah and tv your tv dinner fat your arby's fat your buffet fat right like you're not you've never even had a good thing Right. They would come to New York. They would have a stroke if they ate any of this food. They'd be dead in a week. <laughs> yeah. They don't even know shit like this exists. They've never had proper tomato sauce or anything. These are Domino's people. Right. Yeah. And they're on the boat. And let me tell you right now, man, the kids are like little cinnamon buns. They're huge. The kids right. are huge. Yeah. yeah. The kids are big. Yeah. The pool is the size of a postage stamp. <laughs> <laughs> There's about two or three people that can fit in this pool at once. Maybe one person and her two children, and the pool is completely full. I thought they would have a big pool, water slide. There's no water slide because everybody keeps getting stuck. You'd have to plunge them out. Um, there was a buffet 24 hours. 24 two, hours. And, the, and the boat, they want to prevent an outbreak of disease. Yeah. So when you walk into the boat- That's a nice friendly reminder every time you yeah. fucking got to wash your hands. There's a Filipino guy because everybody who works on the boat lives in the Philippines. This is the fact. They're all the cruise industry yes. lives in the Philippines. Yeah. You never see them when they're not working. They make them live in a pipe in the middle of the ship. Okay? <laughs> and then they're allowed to come out once a day. They're always working. You yeah. never see them. Me and Giannis talked about it. I go, you never, there's no breaks. You never see two cruise employees being like, you know, you know, remember last crew? Yeah. None of that no, shit. Hard at they're work. They're fucking hard at work or they're gone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where they are. Maybe they go overboard. <laughs> But you never see him. They go back to the pipe. So this one dude, he would just stand in the front of the buffet and go washy washy, and he would spray your hands. And I'm talking about this was not hand sanitizer. Yeah. This was like a fucking 
poison, like killing everything on you. Yeah. It hurt when he sprayed your hands. Like it was like fucking ammonia that you had to <laughs> rub your hands. You rubbed the layer of skin off your hands because everybody was so, they were so nervous about, because it's a Petri dish. They're I mean, like, we don't want these people spread. Because if there are cases where like 1,800 people get sick. Yeah. And oh, yeah. then the party's over. Yeah, yeah. the Legionnaire's <laughs> disease, <laughs> norovirus. Yeah. yeah. Then party's over. And what these cruise lines do, Carnival Cruise will abandon these fuckers in the middle of the ocean. They don't give a shit because none of these people are rich. None of these people have lawyers. They know they're not doing anything. So Carnival's like... Leave them out there and shit. Sometimes there's like a the electrical grid will go down on one of these boats. And Carnival's like, whatever, just let the military of whatever country <laughs> figure it out. They don't give a shit because these people are disposable. <laughs> yeah. Carnival knows these fucks don't have lawyers. They're not yeah. going to come. This isn't a river cruise going down the Danube, you yeah. know? Yeah. These fuckers <laughs> are going to deal with it. It is what it is. Yeah. Half of them won't notice, you know? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking. See, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why. No, it's bad. All it's, that stuff I got, if I'm being honest with you, what it, 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 it started with. It made me make up yeah. an excuse. It started with me and Giannis sitting there. Before the thing took off, we knew. Ah, uh, yeah. You wanted we to knew. get off before it left. I didn't yes. want to be there, yeah. Like, if, 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 if they would have come up to you and said, listen, you guys can get off if you want. You're not going to get paid, yeah. but you can get off. You would have got well, off. me and Giannis are also New York cunts is kind yeah. of the term. Yeah, right. So immediately. Because a lot of people love yeah. it. A lot of our peers love it. They Let me tell you right now. They adore it. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. They were born in other places. This is, I right. get it. It's exciting you know? for them because it's, of that, yeah. It's very exciting. The boat is big. Isn't a boat big? Get me, get me away from you yeah. and your thought process. Um, <laughs> yeah. I get on the boat. Giannis gets on the boat. We start looking around and we start saying to ourselves, we're looking at all the, the mouth breathers and they have them in like a FEMA tent. They have them in a big <laughs> cruise terminal and they got their food and their potato chips and then they all start lumbering on this thing and we're like, it just hits us immediately. Oh, we're about to go into the middle of the ocean with these people. With Walmart. <laughs> and that's, that's exactly what it is. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And there's yeah. nowhere to go. There's yeah. nowhere to go. And listen, it's not a tropical paradise. It's cold. Yeah. You get out in the middle of the ocean. You, you think it's like a tropical paradise. It's people wearing hoodies. It's kind of windy. Yeah. It's not that sunny. Yeah. You dock at a shitty like uh, like a fucking weird sandbar that the Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise bought and have turned into Costa Maya, Mexico, which doesn't fucking exist. And it's these guys that are dressed up like conquistadors and fucking <laughs> pirates and these idiots, these fat idiots, they sell them jewelry. There's a 24-hour news channel in your little... And by the way, the accommodations you have, you stay in like a little... I don't know how some of those people fit in those cabins. They they don't. Yeah. They shut the door on their fat. They tuck their, <laughs> it's like the way that I fit into a jacket. They fit into the cabin. They're in the cabin. They put on a channel. The channel is 24-hour uh, what you can buy when you get to this island. And it's just some guy going, hey, I've been in the cruise and jewelry industry for 25 years. And you go, that's not a thing. Yeah. There is no cruise. And, and he goes, the deals you're going to get when we land in Costa Maya are amazing. And he starts showing you these shitty bracelets and shitty earrings. And then what happens is these fat people get off the boat and they go to these little jewelry stands and they're all like kiosks on yeah. a beach. Yeah. And then they, they jam these necklaces around these fat ladies' necks and they pay money and then they get back on the boat. And it is... It is a and and by the way, they take you. You get on like you get in a cab. When you go to a resort, they take great pains to disguise how fucked the rest of the area is. Yeah, this is. is the best right. part. They they pick you up and they take you right to the resort. They don't fuck around. When you go on a cruise and you land in this shitty island, if you want to go to the restaurant or the beach or something like that, they got to drive you through the rest of the island before you get there. So you get in this little like golf cart that seats about eight people and you drive through. I am not kidding. Hellish third world hellscape <laughs> where there's guys with no shoes chasing roosters for dinner. And you're sitting there. You're sitting there. Everybody's 400 pounds. There's people playing a xylophone on their ribs, wasting away on the side of the road. Like there's people that would kill you if they were hung. They're emaciated. They lack the strength to plunge a knife into your throat. They would if they could. Yeah. Yeah. And you wouldn't blame them either. I'd be like, fuck, if I was starving and they just carted around fat people. <laughs> it is it is the craziest thing and I just said to myself I'm like how and then you start listening to people around you and they're like well we took carnival last year and I'm like oh this is the thing that people do yeah. and they enjoy it and it's like I, I don't even want to be part of this it's just such a mix because it's so true he says they, they like 
there's this where you dock, this little area that's just completely commercialized tourist bullshit with the conquistadors. Yeah. And then you just travel a little farther out. You're in a 10th world country. <laughs> and what we do is we just show up in this moving fucking mall <laughs> with all the food in the world on oh, the boat. Yeah. And if we yeah. just took that food and gave it to the people, yeah. they'd be happy. But we go, no, we're getting off. We're buying a keychain, And then we're getting back and on just, and taking the food away. These people think they're having a cultural experience. These fat mitt people from Ohio. <laughs> while walking around eating churros, <laughs> pointing at fake, like, what do they call those statues? The, uh, uh, the, um, the, the totem poles. Yeah, totem poles. Which are, are fake. They're, they're, they're not... all fake. They were built three years ago by Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Line. <laughs> and these fat idiots are like, oh, it's Mexican chocolate. They're boiling Hershey's. These fuckers don't know. And they're eating churros. And they all. And here's what's most disturbing. This is, I think, what disturbed me and Giannis the most. This is what was the most dystopian about it. Everybody thought it was great. <laughs> yeah. Everybody enjoyed it so much that you went so crazy. You're like, am I wrong? No, you just start realizing how yeah. over we are. Yeah. You, you realize that it really is over because everyone thought it was a great time, and yeah. it was raining and cold. Yeah. And it, so okay, because yeah. that was my question. So like, because like it's February right now. You guys have to say in February. Yeah. Other than that, we had a great time. Other than that, it was fine. I understand leaving <laughs> the port. Of, dinner I understand leaving the ports. It's going to be cold but you're saying even when you get to mexico it's still cold there